All right, a little how-to video here on how to assign an article from Nuzella to your students through Canvas. So let's get going here. Okay, first things first. You want to um, access Nuzella through Canvas. So you're going to go to the classes page, which you want to assign it. Open up Nuzella by clicking it on the blue sidebar here. And you need to have already synced up your Nuzella class uh, account with your uh, Canvas class, which I talked about in a previous video. So go and open up Nuzella, and then you will browse around once you're there. I've already found an article, so now I've got an article that I would like to assign to my students here. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, select, well, you could look at the activities, and you can um, pick any one of these and edit them. So you could take the science um, one, and you could edit the prompt. There's no prompt here, so I could type one in there. Once all that is set and done, and you are going to assign the article. You then click on um, Assign and click Create Assignment. And then you're going to select a class. So for this one, I'm going to pick my Honors Biology, six period. And then you're going to click Assign. And it's assigned. Now, this doesn't, you're not done here. You've just assigned it through Nuzella. You still need to go into Canvas and create an assignment for your students where they can access the article. So the way to do that is, um, you know, go back to your Canvas page like you do and um, go to a module and click New Assignment. And for this one, I'm just going to put a sample article because I'm not actually assigning this one. And click it. Now open up the assignment. and then um, go to the edit mode. You can put in whatever information you want here. I have a general template that I use, and I put a link to that. I'll put a link to that. Um, uh, I put it in the Canvas Commons, and I'll put a link to that in the comments there. Um, so I just copy and paste every time uh, that, that same set of instructions, because it's the same set of instructions, over into this assignment here. And I would just change the article um, this would be, what is this, history of the cell. The rest of the time I have my students do the same thing. Um, the reason that I do that is so that um, they don't have to figure out how to navigate the task at hand. They have to figure out how to navigate the information in the article, which is what I really want them to do. So I usually have them, I always have them annotate. And I have designated different um, colors for the different annotations in there. Um, or the different options that it, Nuzella gives you, and um, giving them different meanings there. And I always have them write a comment um, as to why they chose to annotate that particular section or that particular one. So when you're back in the article, when they are reading the article here, and scroll down, you can pick any piece of text, and when you do it, a little pop-up comes and you can pick a color and then you could write why you chose that one. I find this interesting. Wow, I never knew that. I find this questionable. Um, if, it's not, if it's a word they don't know, I have them highlight in red the word they don't know, and then I have them look up and type the meaning for the word there so they can show me that they looked it up and learned a new word. So that's a great tool right there. There's also the, the science right or whatever right you would like to do the ELL, ELA right or the social studies right, and they respond to a prompt that is either uh, already done for you or that you can edit yourself. Okay. Then we're going to scroll down to submission type. And this is where we add it as an external tool. So you're going to go to external tool and you're going to type in Newzilla and hit find. And you still got to scroll through. And then you got to wait. Just got to be patient on this one here. It can take a minute. Sometimes with the external tools, I've also found that I have to exit out of here and then go back in a second time to get it to work. Don't know why that is. That's often the case. Click Newzella and again, be patient and wait. Newzella's a little laggy in there. It worked. Um, discover the cell because I've assigned it to the class already. So it goes in, it goes, oh, we're in honors and it finds that one that we've assigned. And then I say embed assignment. Then click Select. Don't hit Cancel. 
and you know give it whatever points you want to give it and you could give it a due date or whatever that's fine there and then you're just going to click on save now it says it'll say load it in a new window so that when students click on it it opens the article fully in a new window not in a little box there now it's assigned to students and it's ready to go. They'll open the article, they'll annotate it, and then you will see a list of their names in this box here when you open the, um, when, you, when you click here as an instructor, um, you'll see a list of all their names and then the progress they've made on it, whether they've annotated, how much time they spent. Actually, they'll tell you how many annotations they've done. And then you can uh, respond to, the, um, to, to their comments. So if they make a comment, you can re reply to their comments. So it's a really handy way and I really love the annotation aspect because it shows that students are reading, especially when they have to comment on why they chose that one. There you go. And we're done.